Hello, my name is Stephen Basclain and I'm the Business Development Manager for EBS Rate Pumps. Today, I'm going to talk to you about our new range of high flow regenerative turbine pumps. The high flow range has been designed to follow on from the very successful RC range of close coupled regenerative turbine pumps. And I'm looking forward to showing you high flow and talking more about them during this WLPGA program. I have a short presentation that talks generally about the high flow range of pumps, but due to time constraints, I don't go into much depth on how the pumps actually work or why they do what they do. If you're interested and want more information on this or anything else that you see, please don't hesitate to get onto your local PSG contact or, or onto me directly. We really are looking forward to getting more of these pumps out in the field so customers can see how well they work and understand why we're so happy with what they can do. I really believe that once you have one of these pumps operating in your plant, you'll not want to use anything else. It, it will be the new normal. At EBSRAY, we put a lot of work into addressing the various pain points that people feel when pumping liquefied gases particularly, and these centre around performance when suction conditions are poor, for example, for example, when tanks are getting low. Differential pressure limitations struck by some technologies are an issue. Complexity and, and sheer number of, of parts in others. Noise vibration, maintenance requirements, ease of repair. These are all areas that are on our list of things to go after when designing this new range of pumps. I hope you enjoy hearing about what EBSRA have been doing down in Australia. Today, we'll be talking about EBSRA's new high flow range of regenerative turbine pumps. High flow builds on the success of the RC range of pumps that have been operating so well around the world for a number of years now. Firstly, what is a regenerative turbine? A regenerative turbine pump is different to all other pumping technologies and in terms of performance is positioned between positive displacement and centrifugal pumps. It shares the benefits of each but also has some other characteristics that make it ideally suited to pumping LPG and other liquefied gases. By virtue of its design, it is extremely well suited to operating under low suction conditions. The NPSH required by regenerative turbines is lower than other types of pump in the same application. In addition to this, however, if suction is particularly poor, such as when a tank level is very low and cavitation does occur, in an EBSRA regenerative turbine pump, there is no increase in noise or vibration, and importantly, there is no damage at all to the pump. In our regenerative turbine pumps, there is no contact between the impeller and the pump body so wear is very low indeed, meaning a pump being down for repair is very rare. Up until now, the maximum flow rate that regenerative turbine pumps could provide was about 200 litres a minute. But with our new high flow range, we increased this to 620 litres a minute, so you can still keep the high 14 bar differential pressure and all the other benefits of regenerative turbine pumps, but use them on those larger applications where in the past, you would have been tied to larger, complex and expensive side channel or multi-stage centrifugal pumps, or perhaps even some other technology. The high flow range currently comprises four pumps, the R75, the R77, R80 and the R82. There is a difference between them that we will cover as we go on, but in essence, the R75 and R77 are designed mainly for transport applications. So it can be flange mounted at the suction flange and have a flange motor, hydraulic or electric, direct mounted to the housing. The R80 and R82 are foot mounted pumps and designed to be mounted on a base plate. Flow rates are from 200 to 620 litres a minute and differential pressures, as you can see here, up to 14 bar. Maximum working pressure is 30 bar and all pumps are tested to 70 bar or 1000 PSI before leaving our factory. You can see some of the features of the high flow pumps here. This is actually an R80 pump, which is designed to be foot mounted on a base plate. It's a single stage pump with three inch, 300 pound ANSI flange connections. What you can't see in this view is that the R75 and R77 transport pumps also have an auxiliary inlet for transfer or self loading SAE 4 bolt hydraulic motor or an electric motor via a bell housing coupled directly onto the drive end. In terms of performance, 
The R75 and R80 pumps are hydraulically the same, with the difference being the body and mounting arrangement. You can see here that we have shown the R75 performance on the left on a multi-speed curve to fit better with its transport routes as it can be run by high-speed PTO or hydraulic motor. The R80 on the right has been shown at synchronous motor speeds for both 50 and 60 hertz environments, as it is more likely to be run direct coupled to an electric motor, although you certainly could run it at other speeds if the situation required it. Like the R75 and R80, the R77 and R82 are hydraulically the same, again with the difference being the mounting arrangement. R77 is designed for mounting to a transport, and the R82 is designed primarily for stationary base mounted installations. Again, here we show the R77 transport pump on a multi-speed curve on the left and the R82 on the right at two fixed motor speeds. To read these curves, the pump performance is in the top blue section, you can see. You then drop down to the gray curves at the corresponding speed or duty to see your power requirements. Where can I use high flow? Well, tanker loading and unloading. We can have truck mounted or foot mounted pumps. We can use them for transfer of LPG within a plant. Carousel feed. We can have them, they can be transport mounted for bulk or hose reel delivery up to 14 bar differential pressure and with low noise and vibration and much lower maintenance requirements than vane or side channel pump. They can be used for bottle filling and other liquefied gas applications such as dimethyl ether, ammonia, and various refrigerants to name some. Why would I use high flow? If you need consistent differential pressure of up to 14 bar, if you want a relatively small single stage pump with very few moving parts, making a small footprint and very low complexity. In fact, any technically competent person can operate and maintain a high flow pump. It will give you quiet and smooth operation even in difficult suction conditions. And as we touched on earlier, although the performance in low suction conditions is very good, cavitation can still occur in some circumstances. And when it does, there is no increase in noise level and no damage is done to the pump. They're excellent self-priming and vapour handling pumps. Providing the discharge has a bypass valve, such as an EBS Ray RV19 or a Blackma VV2, or perhaps some other arrangement that can clear the vapour from the system, the pump will self-prime even on suction lifts. Most repairs can be done in the field. Certainly impeller and mechanical seals can be changed simply by removing the eight bolts you can see in this picture that hold the cover on. The impeller and mechanical seal can both then be very easily removed without needing any special tools. If you need to change bearings or a shaft, the body can still remain connected to the pipework but the motor will need to move to pull the shaft out from the rear of the pump. Between the hydraulic efficiency of the pumps and the low maintenance cost, the total ownership cost of high flow pumps is very low indeed. And the pumps are of course designed to operate in continuous duty applications. This is a simple PNID showing an R82 pump installed pumping from an underground tank. This shows the layout and gives an idea of the valves and other components that you'll need for a successful installation. If you would like a more detailed version of this drawing or one showing an above ground tank, contact me directly or through your local PSG contact and we, we can certainly send you that. I mentioned at the beginning that the high flow pumps follow on from the Ebsray RC range of regenerative turbine pumps. This is a brief glimpse of the range that they cover. It shows the three sizes and the, and the range that they cover from 20 litres a minute up to about 160 litres a minute. Again, up to 14 bar differential pressure. Like the high flow range, all the RC pumps have a working pressure of 30 bar and they're factory tested to 70 bar. That brings us to the end of this presentation. If you think you have an application that high flow or any other EBSRA or PSG product might be able to help with, please don't hesitate to discuss it with your local PSG representative or you can contact me directly and my details are shown on the screen here. Thank you for visiting this WLPGA event, and more importantly, thanks for spending some time listening to this presentation. We really are very excited about the high flow range of pumps, and we look forward to talking to you all further. PSG. 
where innovation flows.